Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how you can connect Raspberry Pi using FileZilla to transfer your files. And it's very easy. So this is one tool which I'm using, Wireless Network Watcher, which tells me the IP address. Uh, so let's start. Actually, first you have to install an SSH. So first thing is you need to connect your uh, Raspberry Pi to a monitor and then you can easily, like the first time you need to do that. What you have to do is you need to enable the SSH. For that, you just need to run these commands, sudo systemctl enable SSH. And these are very easy. So once the SSH is enabled, you need to verify. So just first you have to run this command. So once SSH is enabled, you need to first try to log in. Oh, sorry, wait a second. So I can log into my Raspberry Pi. I can run commands and see how first I did is I need to first uh, connect my Raspberry Pi to the system. And then first time I need to set up an SSH, you just follow this URL. I will be posting this URL under the description. Once you do that, once the SSH is enabled, then everything is good. First, you need to install FileZilla client. I think most of you people have already used FileZilla. What you have to do is again, you have to go here. Uh, so this is the Raspberry Pi on the Wi-Fi I'm using. So I got my host. Now you can say IP address from here. Your username is Pi. Give your password, which we are using for SSH. And port number 22. And you have to click on Quick Connect. Once you do quick connect, it will ask whether to add the certificate or not, or like fingerprint or not. Once you said okay, now here you can see all the files are there. So let me just give you an example. So I will go into my CD downloads uh, or documents and I will say uh, echo hello and I will do it a dot text file. So if I do ls in my documents, I have this a dot text file so if I do like the so hello is printed so now if I go into my documents here as I can I told you like we will have this a dot text file I can just drag and drop and my file will be transferred so if I go into my D drive I will have this a dot text file so it's very simple with FileZilla it becomes very simple so what are the steps first you need to enable SSH on your Raspberry Pi for that you need to connect at least one time with your UI once it is done then you just need to install FileZilla client and once FileZilla client is there it's simple there's your uh, you uh, your uh, IP address uh, username password and port number 22 that's all so I hope you have uh, this uh, must have cleared your doubts. If you have any question, just post it on the comments. I will uh, try to address them. Thank you. Bye bye.